It's just a latte. So today I literally have to take off my sweater after our walk. Tomorrow is supposed to be full sun and 19 degrees Fahrenheit. And it's supposed to be like that for three days in a row. So I'm very excited about that. And I think I'm going to go downtown and I'm going to stay at my sister's because she's going to be out of town, which means I can use her apartment, watch her cat and live the city life for a few days. I feel like I need to like open a window so Tika doesn't get over too hot. Do you have a fun walk? You look so cute. She doesn't like to look at the camera. She knows when I'm trying to take photos of her. So anyways, I think that's gonna be the plan. Just have a little downtown weekend. I know I've brought up potentially moving and I kind of wanted to talk about where, like where my mind's at with that and kind of explain like why I'm not moving, but like why I might. Um, so basically right now I'm living in a condo that I own. When I was living in Vancouver, I had rented out my condo, but I was not profiting off of it because I knew the girl that was in my apartment and she could move in for the dates that I needed. And so I gave her a good deal cause it was just convenient for me. It got to a point where I was living Living in an apartment downtown that cost me like I think with parking utilities and rent I was paying 2800 and I was also paying around $200 to supplement the mortgage so my living expenses were $3,000 and to me that sounds like a lot even now but keep in mind this was a few years ago where rent was even cheaper so back then $3,000 it seemed very financially irresponsible and that's why i moved back to my condo i was saving 1500 dollars a month by moving back so it just made more sense financially and then also now that i've moved back into my condo when i rent it out i can rent it out for a, a proper rental price and profit also i fully assumed that i would have a boyfriend within the year and so i was like okay i'm gonna live here for one to two years and then i'll move in with my boyfriend we cannot plan life out like that because look where we're at. We're basically at the two year mark, which is why I'm kind of feeling a little restless and like debating on what I want to do because right now I'm living in the town I grew up in and I just feel like I've outgrown this town. I don't really feel like there's anything for me here in this stage of my life. The pros are that I'm really close to my family and it is cheaper, but this is another factor. My mortgage was just up for renewal. The interest rates have basically doubled. So my mortgage payments have gone up a decent amount. My monthly strata payments are also quite a bit higher now than they were when I moved in. And so now my cost of living is not even cheap here. And that makes me feel like, like, why am I here? I know I've brought up possibly moving to Toronto. It's definitely a thought, but I just, I don't know. I don't feel the pull to go there. It was kind of just a fleeting idea, but that would definitely be a bigger move. And I just like, don't know, like, I don't feel called to that in this moment. It's not out of the question indefinitely, but I don't think that's going to be my next move. I really thought about it for a minute, but I really feel like I want to move back into Vancouver, but to a specific area that I haven't lived in yet. The areas in Vancouver that I've lived in so far is Chinatown, West End, North Van, and South Camby. I would not move back to any of those areas, like nothing against them, but just like I feel like I had my moment there and I didn't love them enough to want to go back. So if I moved back into Vancouver, my first choice would be Kitsilano. I would love to live in Kits. If you're not from the Vancouver area, Kits is like, it's like a little beach town outside of the city. It's like across a bridge. And I love Kits Beach. You're also closer to Spanish Banks is where, that's where I take Tika for off-leash time at the beach. It's also closer to Pacific Spirit Park, which is my favorite place to walk her. They have like, it's like a huge park with tons of trails like it's basically just woods it's really really pretty and so that would definitely be my ideal area the issue there it's really hard to find rentals that allow dogs that have laundry for me those are like non-negotiables and it's a lot of older buildings as well like pretty ugly to be honest it's really hard to find a newer build that's going to be under three thousand dollars like i'm definitely on the hunt if i found something that was in my price range i think i would pull the trigger but to be honest like rental prices in vancouver right now are pretty crazy all the places i like are like minimum twenty eight hundred dollars like my whole reason for moving back was because of the price and just like financially i don't i don't know if that's the move so that's kind 
kind of where my mind's at, like definitely looking, but not wanting to make a poor financial decision. Those are my thoughts. I just gave Tika lunch, so that is what that sound is. Sprout Living just sent over some restock of my favorite things. If you are in the market for a vegan protein, this is my favorite, the Epic Protein. I like both the vanilla and the chocolate. I might bring one of these over to my sister's house. I'm probably gonna bring these over, but I do have a code with them, so I'll put that in the description box if you guys are interested. They also have hydration powder. They have a bunch of other products too, but these are my go-tos. It is Saturday, and I think I'm gonna head downtown soon. I need to pack a bag and finish getting ready. I'm also just trying to use up some of the food that I have at my house right now. So I have a mango. Yum. I also have a single naan. Is it nan or naan? My current obsession right now is melting cheese onto this. It's like a mini like single pizza situation. It's so good. I also have a bunch of bananas. So I'm going to make a protein smoothie. And then I think I'm going to have to peel them and put them in the freezer because, I mean, I'm only going to be gone for two days, but I have an entire bunch and they're at their prime time right now. Like in two days, it's going to be a little too far gone. I might leave one. No, I'm going to put them in the freezer. Let's be real. Good morning. It's Sunday today. I'm just moving my car because I was parked on the street and now what is going on here? Hello. I was parked on the street, but now my sister moved her car, so I'm gonna take her parking spot. And I'm just gonna stay downtown for today. I'm gonna drive back home tomorrow. Um, I don't really have any plans, but I just got a smoothie for breakfast. And the sun is shining. It's gonna be a nice day. I'm just gonna like walk around. It is 6 p.m. Sunday evening. Originally, this was gonna be a weekend vlog, but I completely forgot to get any footage. As soon as I'm around other people and I'm socializing, I don't think to bring out my camera. And I think like, I think that's good because I'm just trying to socialize and be in the moment and I don't want to be like shoving my camera in people's faces. But then after I'm like, shoot, like I'm putting a vlog together. It's easier for me to vlog when I'm home by myself because I'm not talking to anyone. So then I just talk to you guys, but it was so nice out today, like stunning. I went on a date, finally, first date of the year. I'm just like, I'm really trying to put myself out there. He was nice, but I just like, I don't feel like we were a match personally. I don't know what he thought, like he was nice. We just took the dogs for a walk. Spent most of the day outside walking around. I also met up with Steven after and we got food and then I came home, so I've like just been out and about. I'm exhausted, I'm gonna have a really chill night tonight. Probably gonna head home tomorrow, and I'm gonna do a Whole Foods grocery shop before I leave, because I don't have one near me, and I miss it. Look at what Tika looks like right now. Why do you look like that? You look funny, girl. I just ordered food, and I am so excited for this. You know when you're just in such a hungry mood, and all you can think of is food. I ordered sushi, but it's not true sushi, really, because I always get like an avocado mango roll with soybean paper, so I wouldn't really call it true sushi, but I also got, that is, that's what the sushi roll looks like. I also got yam gyoza, a Diet Coke. This is a very, very rare occasion. We also have veggie gyoza. This is Hannah's cat. Tika's jealous. You shouldn't be on the counter, boy. <laughs> Do you wanna go pee outside? Let's go. So I was thinking maybe this time I put it all on the line. But I heard from us. It 
is a fresh new week, Monday morning. I might still try to get this video up today or I might post it tomorrow. Is there still water in that thing? Anna has this water fountain thing. There's water here, but this fountain's not going. Maybe it only goes on sometimes? Okay, there. Back in action. <laughs> Everyone's hanging out by the watering hole. Okay, so anyways, um, I'm just getting my podcast posted today. This episode is about PCOS because it's the most requested topic. Okay, so I'm going to upload this. I upload the audio onto Spotify and then it goes out to different streaming platforms. And then I also post a video on the Lucky Life Podcast YouTube. So there's like a bunch of different places where you can watch it. Oh, it's my channel's birthday today. My second channel's birthday. When did I make this one? This channel used to be my vlog channel and then I started posting vlogs on my main channel and so I switched this over to the podcast channel. I just ran over to HomeSense quickly to get cut reorganizer because Hannah doesn't have one and I was worried it wasn't going to fit. This is actually... Oh my goodness. I think it's just not going to fit by like a centimeter. Ugh just doesn't fit. You could have it sitting on top, but that's kind of stupid. Damn it. Yeah. now but we just did a little walk on the seawall it was pretty quick i would have gone longer but i bought chicken and so i have chicken sitting in the car can't leave it for too long but um i also want to beat rush hour traffic it generally takes 45 to 50 minutes to get home from downtown traffic starts around 2 30 3 o'clock and i would say between like three and six it can take an hour and a half to get home. It doubles the time that it takes to get home. So I wanna get out of here before that happens. And it's like, I think it's like 12.30 right now. Did you have a nice little weekend downtown? I think you did. You got to see people, you socialized, went for lots of walks. I picked up a poppy at Whole Foods. I've never tried this brand before. I think it's been around in America for a while, but it's like newish to Canada. Um, this is just the cola flavor. Interesting, it's made with apple juice, apple cider vinegar. It's pretty good. My grocery haul is not very interesting though. I don't think I got anything that was specific to Whole Foods. It's just like, I just got a couple things that I needed. I think I'm gonna end the vlog here though. That's basically my weekend and a little Monday morning. But um, thank you guys for watching a few days in my life. I'll be back next week with another vlog. If you guys have any requests, let me know. Um, I think I'm probably gonna do some more like what I eat in a day meal recipe type videos. I have a bunch of different ideas for that like themed. So those will probably be next, but let me know. Bye.